Well, I'm finally back. I haven't filmed a video in about nine months, eight months. Crazy family stuff, crazy, crazy work stuff. It's been chaos, but I'm back to film another one. It is late February. The weather is awesome. We had a really, really cold January, and now we have a really, really warm February. So it's late February. The water's warmed up to about, I think about 55 degree water temperature. It's 75 and sunny today. And we're gonna go down here to the river to a new spot. I was hoping the water was gonna be down today, but they decided to run it. So I'm going to a spot that I've always thought could be good if the water was high. So <laughs> we're fixing to find out. So we're gonna go down here and hopefully get into something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there it is. It's as big as me. Yo, 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 I was biting. I tried picking up the speed. I was like, let's just do it faster. Let's just see. I thought with as early in the year as is, maybe they're a little sluggish, but warm weather with a big warm-up they have going so first time I sped it up they hit it so let's try that again maybe they want it really fast all right let's go fast let's just see what happens here that's two bites though in like three minutes it's a good sign okay. fish there it is it was right at me what do i have here look at that it's a big old hybrid i think or a sand bass it's a chunky whatever i mean right next to me all right let's get him in first fish i've caught and i don't know how long i take the treacherous road back so i can get back to shore Oof, he's barely hooked though oh no he's got a second one in him never mind all right let's see if we can make it back without falling down in this icy cold water and ruining my GoPro because I have a, a mic in and it is um, exposed on the side. It would ruin all the footage if I fell in. He's still trying to get off. Oh, it doesn't get off. Let me see, he's hooked really good though in that upper lip. Probably should just hold him, but I'm trying not to fall down. So I'm trying to go along this line of rocks right here because it's kind of shallow along the edge of the rocks, but it's also super slippery. Just trying not to, I mean, it's 77 degrees out. It really doesn't matter how cold the water is. I'll be fine. I just don't want to ruin my camera gear. That's a nice fish though. Can't wait to get it to shore and get a better look at it. I'm also excited to get out here and Film another video. It's been, I haven't filmed one since June, it's February, so eight months. I think I put it out in maybe July, but I filmed it in June. So it's just that time of year where they're just starting to bite. It's probably not an on fire bite, but it's that time of year. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's border, borderline quicksand, not quite. It's really sinky. Eh, it's getting deep. There it is, oh! water hit a certain area okay almost back to shore go get my phone out get a little f okay i'm gonna grab this fish because he has worked his way almost free oh that's a nice fish look at that that's a really nice fish oh man now is it a sand bass or is it a hybrid because if that's a sand bass that's a big boy it's a good fish, period, but I'm not done. I caught my personal best sand bass last year, 15 incher, and this guy, if that's a sand bass, it might be even bigger. And it's just, just as chunky. Might be a hybrid, I don't know. There he is. I don't know if it's a sand bass, don't know if it's a hybrid, but it's a beautiful fish. It's 13 inches and chunky. Let's see if I can get a better lighting. No, this is the best lighting we're gonna get. That is a pretty, pretty fish right there. All right, let's go ahead and let him go.
There he is. Gorgeous, shimmering fish right there. Oh man, it's a chunky. They're eating right now. All right, buddy. Oh, let's see if he's ready to go. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a little hesitant. Oh, there he goes. Gotcha. There he is. Oh. Man, it's a pretty fish. Oh, you might need a little help. It's all right. Okay, buddy. There's a long walk back in. Oh, there he goes. Let's see if he stays upright. If not, I'll help him. Sometimes they need a little extra help. Sometimes they don't. He's not quite ready still. We'll see if I need to help him some more. Nope. He kicked off. He gone. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. I don't know what that is. Golly Moses. Trying to lighten up on the drag just in case. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's either a hybrid or a sand bass, but it's a big boy. That's a good sized fish right there. Look at that sucker. Oh, baby. I don't know if he's hooked real well though. We're gonna find out. That is way bigger than the last one. Oh, good, good fight. Look at him. Look at that fish. He's hooked with both treble hooks. So we're good. Look at that thing. Look how fat he is. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. The more I look at him, the more I'm like, holy. Guys, look at this thing. Are you kidding me? Look at the size of that fish. Okay, I'm a little confused. There's no real broken lines. If that's a sand bass, that's about as big as they possibly get. There's, there's no broken lines, really. You know, they, normally like there's broken lines and they're, they're not straight like that if it's a hybrid. I think that's a sand bass. I don't think it's state record or anything, but that, like if that's a sand bass, that may be the biggest one I'll ever catch in my entire life. I've got to do some research on this, but I need to be better. I should know more. I think if you look at the tongue and the fins, there's ways to tell. So I'll look at that and then look it up later and figure it out. But it kind of looks like a sand bass. I mean, you know it's got those little dot bars going down the side, but they're perfectly in line. It's not a striper, I can tell you that. If that's a sand bass, that is unbelievable let me get him over here this is, this is unbelievable if it's a hybrid it's a really nice fish not the biggest hybrid i've ever caught but it's a really nice fish if it's a sand bass again i'm sure it's not anywhere near state record but probably a chance will be the biggest one i ever catch in my entire life that is Got to do some research. <laughs> Either way, really, really nice fish. I'm gonna put him back in the water for a minute. Just try not to lose him though. He's hooked pretty good, so I'm good. Oh man. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's a tub, man. Oh my goodness. This would not be a good time to fall in the water and lose my fishing gear. Wow, oh, that's deep. I need to fish that spot here in a minute. That's deep. Look at this thing. I knew as soon as I hooked it, it was something pretty good. It, that was a heavy fish instantly. He fought really good. It wasn't a long fight, but he was really fighting. All right, we're just gonna walk him along the water, keep him alive. The good news is the water temp is still cold, somewhere between 55 and 60, so they tend to do pretty well. If it was, you know, 75 plus degree water temperature, he wouldn't do very well if he's out of water for this long that has a big drop off do not get off those are starting to come a little loose here we go trying to get out of the water here oh man i wasn't planning on waiting out today but then i got here to this new spot and was like well the only way to get to where the fish are is to wait out and it's warm it's 77 and sunny with uh no wind so it's beautiful so the fact that the water is cold doesn't really matter. Are you serious right now? Look at this. Oh my God, let's just put it on the rock here so I can. 
look how fat that fish is. That is crazy. All right, so let's look. There's no teeth on. You tell me in the comments, I don't know. It looks like the fins are separated technically and there's no tooth patch on the tongue. So you tell me, this is not doing it justice. Look at this. If I can kinda, let me get a better, oh, place it right there maybe. There's a better look. Look how fat that sucker is. It's still not doing it justice, but I mean, it's a nice fish. Let's get him back. I forgot to hit record on the release, but he kicked right off faster than anticipated, so that was good. Sorry, I didn't get to see that action, but I'm a little rusty. I haven't filmed anything in almost a year. Well, it's gonna be hard to top that one. So let me know in the comments. What do you think it is, sand bass or hybrid? No tooth patch, fins are separated on top. He was 17 inches, but it's good, it's good length, but that's not the story, he was just so fat. I didn't weigh him, I wanted to get him back in. Hard to top that, but uh, we're gonna try. There's The sauger should be moving right now. The striper should be moving, so we'll see. In case y'all are wondering, I'm just using a crankbait. It's a rattle trap, or maybe it's the Cotton Cordell off-brand, but that's what I'm using. I bought I bought a new reel at Academy, a Shimano, with my gift card from Christmas, and it doesn't work. It's defective. It's like the the spool is like open all the time. So even when the spool is not open, it acts like it is. It's just free-flowing line all the time. So something's wrong with it. So I had to put my old reel back on there. This Daiwa Revros, which is awesome, but the it's got an old line on it for one and the drag is starting to go out a little bit but she's still working i've caught some really big fish on this it's an awesome reel i've just worn it to pieces and then i'm still using just this ugly stick g2 rod, gx2 rod so that's my setup in case y'all were wondering i'm gonna have to keep an eye on the water level it is rising rapidly so <laughs> Not a good idea to be out in the middle of the river when it's rising rapidly, but hey, got to go where the fish are. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on everything. That's why the last time it seemed a little deeper than what I remembered half an hour ago. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to stay out here too much longer because um, the water is going to get out of control. Although the fish will probably move closer to shore once the water does get a little higher. So I just got to keep a close eye on it. I got one. Yep, I got one. I don't know what that is, but it is just digging deep. What in the world? This feels different. I don't know what it is. It's not big, I don't think, but it's just, just swimming real fast. What is this? Another good one, man. Another sand bass or striper or something. Look at this, man. It's another good one. Look at that. If I get away with not hooking myself, I won't bring this one all the way in. A long walk, I don't have a lot of time left. So I'm gonna try to get it out without impaling myself, which could be very challenging. I'm hoping he just spins off. I think I'm down to one hook at least, no. Yeah. Just, if you get a death grip on them like this, especially if they're upside down, they tend not to flop. So odds of impaling myself are now slim. I really need pliers, that's in there. It's just one hook though. Got a death grip on them. There we go. It's another really, really nice fish. Look at that. Pretty, pretty fish. All right, buddy. Off you go. Let's see? We're up to three. Let's see if we can get four. Oh, yeah, there it is. I just wanted one more fish, and I think got it. Let's see if we can get him in. He's swimming right towards me. I was literally saying two more casts. Two more casts. What do I got? What do I got? It's a decent fish. Whatever. Another one. Another decent one. Last fish of the day. Still can't tell if these are sand. That's a sand bass for sure. All right. Since we're going in, we'll just uh, walk this guy in before the water gets too high. Ooh, I was staying in one place for too long. Really bad time for my foot to fall asleep. 
Don't fall in and ruin the camera gear. That's another nice one though. Let's look at this. That's another nice fish. That's probably, that's the smallest one of the day for sure. And it's still a nice one. All right, is he hooked okay? Yeah. All right, I'll walk him in. I'm get sure I will, uh, we'll get a better look at this guy. All right, last one of the day. Another beautiful fish. Let's let him go. There he is. He's gonna need some reviving, I think. I think. All oh, right, buddy. Nope. He gone. Wow. He didn't need any reviving. Well, that could not have gone a whole lot better. I, I fished for one hour. One hour caught four really nice fish. Please leave in the comments below, do you think that's a sand bass or a, a hybrid? Because it's a sand bass, that is a massive sand bass. So, so leave them in the comments, I don't know. I'll probably try to look it up when I get home, but no tooth patch. And I don't think, yeah, the fins did not connect. So if y'all know that, leave it below. I'd really be interested. Um, but yeah, only an hour, that's all the time I had. The water is rising rapidly back there. So I need to get out anyway. And I wanna go spend some more time with my son at the park. So I'm gonna go do that. And I mean, four fish in one hour in late February. It doesn't get a whole lot better than that. The fish is just gonna get better from here on out. March will be better. It's looking like the weather's gonna be pretty decent for March too. Um, and then once you get into April, it really takes off. So not much else biting. This is like one species, I guess, or maybe two. Y'all let me know below. Um, but man, it's so good to get back out here. 77 degrees and sunny, no wind, peaceful, exactly what I needed. This is awesome for, it's awesome period, but especially for late February. So I'm gonna try, I don't know when I'm gonna have time to even edit this, but I will get this video out. Obviously you'll know that once you're seeing this, but I'm gonna try to film a lot of videos this year if possible. I don't have a lot of free time um, between my job and, you know, having a family and all that stuff. It's, I just don't have a lot of time. But when I do, I'll try to film it. I'll try to put out as many videos as I can this year. It felt really good to get back out here. It felt really good to film it. So I'm excited for this year. I really am. I, I think it's gonna be a good year of fishing. Uh, I think everything sets up really well for the river this time and other places too. Um, should be a good year of fishing. I'll try to bring as many as I can. Um, last week, um, I took my son to a pond. He caught his first trout ever. So I'm gonna put a picture in at the end of the video of what he caught last week. This is the little fish, but this is his first trout ever. So I'll put that in at the end of this. And uh, otherwise I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna try to get out of here. It's straight uphill and I threw brush and I don't really know where I'm going, but I'll find my way out somehow. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and God bless.